Hi, this is Lori Jacobs coming to you from Lori Jean's All Naturals, and I am a student at the American College of Healthcare Sciences in Oregon. I'm come to you to speak today about stress and the effects it has on your body. Um, first of all, let's get started. Stress is very dangerous for your body. It is. It was met back in the old days. Okay, when when our bodies were created, God put stress in there to to teach you to run if there was danger so that all that stuff, um, let's just say it's the, it's the, through your sympathetic nervous system. Okay. It goes into fight or flight when there's danger and your body needs to hurry up and get out of there. I said that, that adrenaline would pick up and it would give you that energy to do what you need to do to run. Um, in a situation where you hear of people where someone was trapped under a car and you hear this women, this woman lifted this car and picked it up and got it off the child or whatever, and you wonder where she got that strength. Well, this is what your fight or flight was meant to do. It was to give you that boost of extra energy and strength in a time of crisis. But today, society, we live in very busy lifestyles. People are so busy and rushed. And all I could think of is I that scripture where it says, I fought the fight and I won the race. It's like a race. Our lives are like a race sometimes. We're running and, and here and running there and everybody's so busy. And we need to know how to handle stress, okay? Because um, stress is a, is a can be a killer to you. It causes all kinds of sicknesses and diseases. And the reason it does that is because when your body is stressed, it shuts down uh, your immune system, your inflammatory system. It, uh, it slows it down. I shouldn't say it shuts it down, but it shuts it almost to the point of shutting it down. It slows it down because it's giving all this extra energy for you to run or do what you need to do um, in the panic mode. And also it is, um, let's see, it also is taking that energy from your bones, from your heart, from your muscles, from your pancreas, from your thyroid, from your bladder from your kidneys it's from your brain it's start it's starting to take those nutrients to give you that extra boost of energy from your digestive system and that's what helps you um get that boost of energy but those items they figure like your body's thinking i don't need this right now i need to run okay so when you stay stressed all the time your your metabolism gets messed up because your body's not digesting because it's constantly using this extra energy for the stress because stress takes a lot of energy out of your body some people can say oh i'm so tired i'm fatigued and i can't do anything if you've been stressed all day that will that will re it's not the physical labor that's going to stress you out isn't that's not, oh excuse me i am so it's not physical labor that's going to exhaust you as bad okay physical labor is exa can be exhausting but it's a good feeling because you're getting fresh air you're getting oxygen but when you're stressed, that can wipe you out completely, drain you physically, because it is taking from all your joints, even if you're not, you know, you're just mind is going and you're thinking and thinking and you're causing all the stress to yourself. So that's not good for you. Okay. So first we need to understand stress is not good. People watching these shows, they like to sit there on edge and they're all scared and watching this horror shows or these suspense move shows or they're on these rides and they're getting all scared to death, you know, screaming and everything. That's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's not good for you. Um, our lives were meant to have peace and to be relaxed and calm and enjoy life. And sometimes you need to me when I feel like that, I need a whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are beautiful, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are good. I need to think on these things. That's scripture. And that's what I do. I know when I get like that, I need to refocus and get my mind on something else. Um, when you're constantly in that stress state, that will take it away from your adrenals. It'll take the nutrients away. From, and from there, it'll go from your pancreas to your thyroid. It can take it from your heart. It can take it from your muscles, your bones. And that's when people start to have problems with issues with their, their joints or they start having uh, diabetes because their pancreas isn't functioning properly. Or they have thyroid issues because they're losing all that uh, 
hormone level that they need because you're when you're in that stress situation your body needs that extra vitamins and if you're not putting it in through food and you're not getting rest your body is going to take it from your uh the other parts of your body. They're gonna take it from your joints and they're gonna take it from your lungs or your pancreas or wherever. So it's very important to make sure when your body tells you to rest, you need to rest. When your body tells you to, um, to eat properly, you need to eat the right foods to put those nutrients back. Um, let's see. Now some of the ways you can uh, kind of calm yourself if you have a very stressful life if you live with stressful people or your job is stressful uh some of the ways you can do is i know there's uh ashwagandha herb you can take that in a capsule form that'll relax you there's chamomile tea um there's also you can buy some chamomile essential oil mix it with some almond oil and put it in like a roll-on and you can or a salve make a salve and use that and put that on you that will keep you calm uh you can use lavender essential oil in your house in a diffuser um also like if you're exercising or you're take take a walk do something that you enjoy doing if you like doing crafts if you're a girl and you like to do gardening or something that relaxes your body so that it can rebuild um if you're going to exercise very stressfully i don't really recommend that because that's just adding to the stress if you're going to exercise probably taking a walk where there's fresh air this beautiful scenery, your mind is not on your bills or your your problems. Um, you can focus more and look around. Take time to look around at the beauty around you. Um, if you live in the city, go take a ride in the country. When we were kids, we always took a ride out in the country. I think that's why I love it today. Um, take time to smell the roses. Take time to do things that will help you um, calm yourself better. My husband's a pastor, and when I look around and see people, we, you know, that prayed over for, for sicknesses and all kinds of things, and 99% of the time, most of these people have stress in their lives, especially cancer patients. Someone has cancer, they have a lot of stress in their life. It's not always, I mean, it's good that you got to eat healthy food, but stress is a big con contributor to um, cancer and other sicknesses and diseases. So get yourself, first of all, Eat healthy, but you've got to get yourself stress-free. Do what you have to do. You know, last year I was under a lot of stress because we had, uh, one of my daughters was sick and we were just going through things. And I just, I took a ride up north almost three times a week just because I wanted to be by the mountains and see the beauty. And, and I just needed that. And it really helped me release that, you know. And you know what, what helps you release stress, whatever it is. Um, and that's what you need to do is find your niche. If you don't have time for things like that, then take some ashwagandha, I'll tell you, is really, really great, you know, that, that calms you. And I remember when my daughter went away to college, uh, not last year, the year before, and there was some issues there, and I was so stressed to the point I was, I was getting dizzy and I was vomiting, I was so stressed. And I didn't know what to do, so I went upstairs to bed and I was like, nobody else knew what to do. And I was like, my daughter, my oldest daughter, come over and she got the, um, Kimmel meal oil that I had in a bottle for my grandbabies for teething. Um, and she put that on my, my arm and it just calmed me right down and I got better really quick. I couldn't believe how fast it worked. Um, Cause you can really make yourself sick when you get upset about something in a situation. So keep those things on hand. Um, a lot of times, a lot of stress can come from magnesium deficiency or overdoing coffee, caffeine, uh, that will deplete your your sodium, potassium, if you're drinking too much and dehydrate you, and that can cause stress too on your adrenals. So there's so many different things um, that can cause it, but you really need to understand you've got to get stress-free. Start with that, because if you're trying to lose weight or whatever you're trying to do, trying to get well, you've got to de-stress first. You know, if, it's, if you don't like tea, like I said, a lot of people say, well, I don't like the tea, I don't like the taste of tea, or I'm not a tea drinker. Well, get some essential oils, Put it in a, um, you can use lavender, camel meal, camel meal safe even for children. Um, put some in a little bottle. Um, you can get like a roll on bottle or just even a little salve, mix a little beeswax with it. You can look up recipes on YouTube um, on how to make your own salve and then just put that essential oil, camel meal in there. But I find it easier with the little roll on bottles and you just um, put a little almond oil in there or olive oil. Almond oil lasts longer. Um, 
and then just roll keep it in your purse the roll on and when you feel stressed you can just put some on and calm yourself down i mean you know you're driving and you're in traffic and you need to you know you're going to have that kind of a day if you live in the city and you're driving and you know it's a stressful ride get some of that and put it on and make yourself calmer so it, you're helping your body heal better um so get calm eat right start eating healthy putting the right nutrients in your body and i'll tell you i know it's not not easy to quit coffee but if you're drinking coffee make sure you're drinking enough fluids water make sure you're getting enough sodium and potassium a lot of people think oh i can't have salt well you know what your body needs salt if you were buying all this salt free stuff start changing your salt buy like an iodized sea salt iodine is very 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 important for your body um, sea salt is the better salt if you're buying um, I got to the point where I had to buy unsalted butter because the regular butter that's salted has that bleach salt that's not good for you it doesn't have the nutrients that your body needs and it also that's the kind of salt that makes your blood pressure go up but sea salt is not going to harm you and you need the iodine if you don't have enough iodine you're gonna have thyroid issues that's what happens when you're deficient in iodine iodine is so good for you it even when they had um, that oh, what was it when that they had that tsunami and it affected all those those uh, chemical plants and they were trying to get iodine because it prevents cancer it helps uh, fight so that they don't get cancer from radiation so you know you can follow the myths or get, do your research don't just look at this video but do some research um, find some good videos on YouTube if you don't like to read and it's boring to you I tend to like to uh, watch the videos because it's more interesting and I'm a hands-on person when it comes to learning and find doctors find re uh, research results and those are the videos you want to watch not the, the regular advertisements that they're selling something I mean sometimes those are right but always make sure there's citations or references to back up what they're um, speaking on. But that's all I have to say on stress. Get stress-free. Do the best you can. Eat healthy. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do to, to at least help prevent yourself from getting overstressed. Okay? Thank you and have a blessed day.